So I remember, well, I guess it was the late 1980s, a good portion of the building trade here in San Francisco um, were young Irish men. There were thousands of them. And now um, it's largely Chinese who speak no English. They're outside, outside the window now. Um, we, we rent a top floor apartment and the owner of the house is making needed repairs right now. Um, so they're doing different things all the time, but all of my videos have had some noise. So um, in memory of um, those immigrants who all went home when the, the, the economy in Ireland seemed to get good um, and briefly was, um, we're talking about playing a certain type of Irish music today on the guitar. Jigs. Now, the nowadays the accepted wisdom for playing both accompaniment and melody is to do a series of down-up-downs. And I use that a lot, but that assumes that jigs go dee 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 and they don't. They go ba ba dee dum dee 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 ba ba dee 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 There's there's breaks in it, and there and it assumes that what you would do on one string sounds best when there's strings string crossings. So when I'm playing on one string. Sure, down, up, down, down, up, down. Occasionally, the phrase of a tune sounds more like six than two threes. And I'd go down, up, down, up, down, up, simply reverse. And with chords. Um, just doing the same thing over and over again, eventually, unless you're very, very skilled, is going to sound like being pounded on the head with a hammer. So I try to follow the contour of the melody, and my hand will do what it can to help the melody. So when we get String crossings, we go from one string to another, to an adjacent string. We could go like, all right, down, up, down, or down, up. Let's say it's down on one string and, and the next two are on the next string. So I could go down, up, down, but I could also go down, drop, up. To. And if it's going from the higher string to the lower string, again I could go down, up, down. But I could also go up, drag, down. And when I do those glides or those drags and, and drops, which is a type of slur, two notes on, on one stroke, just like you would on a fiddle, huh? It tends to make the music sound a little smoother. And there are places where I want it to be smooth and places I want it to be more angular. And then there's the tunes that don't go one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll go one, three, one. Or they'll go one, three, one, three. Or one, 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 two, three, one, three. So I, if I goes one, three, bop, da. What am I going to do? I'm going to go down, up. Now, some people try that one, three, four, six, one, three, four, six with all down strokes. And it ends up sounding like this. It never quite sounds right. So on, I'll do the up stroke. And that works.
works better for me. So let's apply it to uh, tune. I'm not going to do much left hand ornamentation because um, I'm going to focus on the right hand. Let's see. Um, how about my darling to sleep? <laughs> all down up downs it sounds eh, 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 to me somebody else I know that can get it smooth so, but I prefer to go like this you see up down up down up drag down down up down down up drop up well why don't I go down drop up down drop up because again it sounds mechanical and why don't I go down up down down up down I like this hmm? why don't I go down up down up down up sorry it sounds wrong. But there are places where it sounds right. So. Same line. And down, up, down, down. Down drop up, down drop up. It starts to sound more Scottish. Um, I don't want to take the time to explain why. So down up down. Rest is familiar. Okay. Now there's many other things we can do um, when we have a jig that's less regular like this one is. Let's see. All right, here, here's one of the humors of Glenn Dard. It's also called Darby Gallagher. Yeah, I've got my bass uh, down just for resonance. I'm not touching it much. I, well, I'll touch it in this next one. Sometimes I go, or sometimes. Or. Either way, it's mostly down, up, down. There's down, up, down, up, down, up. 
-hmm. But I want it to sound like a six. Look, do one, two, three, one, two, three, dee, 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 dee. I want to three, four, five, six, dee, 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 dee. It's subtle, but it's different. Yeah, that's better with a six. stroke for that F sharp. I'm hammering. It's a slur. Down, up, down. Now. Down, drop, up, down. Sounds way better to me than down, up, down, down. Because it's just an open string and a well, let's see here. Um, just lost light. Don't. I hope it don't stop this video. Keep rolling, please. Keep going. Are you going? Are you going? Yes. Yes. All right. Also here. Big fat notes there, and we can use that bass next to it. Uh, sorry, that's the yeah. can be done in accompaniment. something like that behind my melody playing there. Or I'd rather it, the accompaniment be accompaniment of the particular tune in the particular way that it's being played. And that's why when I play rhythm guitar with melody players, it's a little different each time. I'm trying to make the melody sound better. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>